Hello and welcome to your Mod Spotlight on the Kerbal Universe 2, version 2.3. As you can see, I have a vessel with quite a lot of fuel in it, and this is necessary for getting to some of the planets that this mod adds. Taking a look at the map, this mod adds two new stars, Abaddon and Mane, as well as a new gas giant for the Kerbal system called Virion. We'll be going over each of these planets in a moment. Before I start going over the planets, however, I want to actually show this burn in a time-accelerated fashion so you can get an idea on how far away these two new suns are. So let me get to the other side of Kerbin, and I'll begin my burn and bring this screen into a minimized window in the corner while I explain to you each of the planets that are added. So now that I'm on the dark side of Kerbin, I'm just going to push this recording into the corner and start going over the planets. There we go. Let's start burning and begin talking about each of the planets. First up is Abaddon. This is the closer of the two new stars added by the mod and it has three additional planets in its sphere of influence. The first having no atmosphere, the second with an atmosphere and two satellite moons, and the third being a gas giant with four moons. The first planet in Abaddon's sphere of influence is Firebinti. Firebinti has no atmosphere, it matches the size of Kerbin, though it only has one-fourth the gravity. Being so close to the sun, this planet has resembled Duna in many ways being a dry desert with no water. The second planet orbiting Abaddon is Verviidae. This planet in many ways is very similar to Kerbin, having its radius, its gravity, atmospheric height, and atmospheric pressure only slightly less than that of Kerbin. It also has two moons that orbit it, one in a rather equatorial orbit and the other in a highly eccentric orbit. Phobius is the first and closer of the two moons that orbit Verviidae. Its surface is comparatively smooth to other moons found around the system. Its size matches that of the moon found orbiting Kerbin, though its gravity is much larger. Diamis is the second of the two moons that orbit Verviidae. Its surface is littered with large craters and strange fault lines that converge to a single point. Diamis matches the size of its sibling moon, though its gravitational pull is only half. Sisor is the third and final planet in the Abaddon system. It has four moons, one of which that has an atmosphere. This planet is a gas giant very similar to that of Joule. Seti is Sisor's first moon. Its characteristics match that of Verviidae closer to Abaddon, except that this moon has slightly less gravity. This moon is mostly covered by ocean and has very little land surrounding it, though if you do enter the atmosphere you will be able to see some islands. Corvus is the next planet orbiting Sisser, and its surface is very interesting, containing starburst-shaped discolorations as well as fault lines. It's about the size of the moon that orbits Kerbin, although it has half a g of gravity. Evon is the purple desert moon, and the third to orbit Sisser. Its size compares to that of Corvus at 60 kilometers, and its gravitational pull is also at half a g, and due to its color it's thought to be connected to Eve. Talon is the last and furthest moon from Sisser. This tiny planet has one-tenth the gravity found on Kerbin, as well as being only 13 kilometers in radius. This tiny planet is very similar in structure to Gilly in how it's misshapen and not a perfect sphere. The second star system added by this mod is Mane. This star system contains four planets, two of which are gas giants, and several moons. This star is nearly an exact copy of its sister, Abaddon, however, its sphere of influence is significantly larger, making it much easier to get captured. The first planet in the Manai system is Igar. This planet is small and can be compared to a moon in size and gravity. Now it has a similar starburst pattern as we saw in Corvus, as well as many fault lines that scatter its surface. Tyvor is the second planet in the Manai system. This is another small world with a relatively low gravitational pull. What makes this planet unique is that it has an equal-sized moon that orbits it almost as a binary system. Brachios is Tyvor's only moon, 
It is of equal size but slightly less gravity. The planet description states that it's a very dangerous place, and it is. It's very easy to get an escape trajectory from either Tyvor or Brachios into the surface of the other planet. Jamona is the third planet in the Mane system. It is another large gas giant with three orbiting bodies surrounding it. Its characteristics are very similar to that of Jewel, except it has several orange stripes. Scree is the first moon orbiting Jamona. It fits the common theme of 60 kilometer radius as well as low gravity. However, what's really unique about it is how close it is to the gas giant and how small its sphere of influence is. With only a 147 kilometer sphere of influence and being so close to the gas giant, it's very difficult to get an encounter to this moon. Riard is another small moon that orbits Jamona. It's about the same size as Scree, except it has half the gravity. Also, just like Scree, it has a 207 kilometer sphere of influence, making it quite difficult to get an encounter though that challenge is reduced seeing as how it's not so close to the gas giant itself. Tintai is the last and furthest moon in the Jamina system. It has very large craters and a couple of large starburst shaped discolorations along its surface. Though small, it has a very high gravity making it challenging to land on, very similar to the challenges one would face when landing on Tylo. Pershina is the fourth and final planet in the Mane system as well as being the second gas giant. It is similar to the other gas giants found in this system, other than the fact that this one only has a single moon orbiting it. Pershimu is the only moon in Pershina's sphere of influence. It is a relatively small moon with a large gravitational pull, as well as a relatively small sphere of influence. On the surface it has massive dark craters and very uneven terrain. Furion is a gas giant found orbiting Kerbal, the original sun in Kerbal Space Program. Its orbit is found just outside of Joule's orbit and is known as the second gas giant in the Kerbal system. Virion is home to five moons, one of which contain an atmosphere. Blalo is the first moon to orbit Virion. It is said to be a near-perfect twin of Kerbal, although it is at a reduced scale meaning that the planet size is slightly smaller with less gravity and atmospheric pressure and is very similar to Verviidae from the Abaddon system. Troon is the second moon to orbit Varion. It is a large moon that has a very rocky and rigid surface and due to the structure of its surface it is extremely difficult to land on this planet. Only on the top plateaus of the mountains or in the depths of the craters is it flat enough for a safe landing. Phantoma is the third planet to orbit Varion. This desert-like planet has flat deserts as well as several large mountains and strange rock shapes on the surface. It is equal size to Kerbin as well as equal in gravitational pull, though it has no atmosphere. Kethos is the fourth moon to orbit Varion. It is a small yellow moon with several large craters and many small craters. It has half a g of gravity, meaning it can be quite difficult to land on since there is no atmosphere present. Kamna is the final moon to orbit the Virion system. It is a very small moon with low gravity that makes it easy to land on, though the surface is rigid and rocky, meaning there aren't very good landing sites other than the plateaus on top of the mountain ranges. Well, it has taken over 70 Kerbin years to get here, but we have finally reached the Abaddon system. And there's the star right there. This vessel, of course, does not have the greatest thrust to weight ratio, but from the eight nuclear engines and the two large orange tanks full of fuel, that is how long it took to get here. Over 70 years and roughly 30 minutes of real time. But this has been time accelerated by four times, so you wouldn't have to go through the pain of it. Now, I specifically have left out a lot of details about each of the planets, and that's because I want you guys to go down to them and explore them. I simply gathered all the information you can gather by looking at them from orbit and giving them a brief explanation. 
because the fun in having new planets for Kerbal Space Program is to explore them yourself and land on them to see what they have to offer. As well as challenging yourself to get them. As you know, it took me a huge amount of fuel just to get a small ion probe all the way out here. And if you can get a lander to land on some of these 1G gravity planets with no atmosphere, which is very similar to Tylo, then that is pretty challenging and a lot of fun. So, this brings us to the end of our mod spotlight over Kerbal Universe 2.3. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's a bit different from my usual style. I am PTT GRW, signing out.